Hello everybody, today we will, I will talk about the epic weapons and trinkets that everybody should tr at least uh, have, okay? The, you, we all know that we all really want the legendary weapons maxed out, etc. That's everyone's dream, but unfortunately for the current state, which is, you know, the progression system is kind of slow. We are kind of forced to use epic weapons for now. But there is actually a lot of epic weapons that are actually really decent, okay? Let's go off to the voyage, crossing worldlets, and go to the weapon trial, okay? Let's go here. This is the weapon section that uh, you, we can find right now. Like every weapon uh, that is from 1, 2, and 3. Do not really worry about this, I know it's kinda day restricted, but there is uh, at least decent weapons in all three. Okay. First off, let's go with uh, Dueling Dagger. The Dueling Dagger is when you get hit from the front or the side, it will increase uh, physical defense by 5%. If you max it out, it will go up to 25%, which is really good. We all know that it's a weapon that is really good for Mita. I apologize that I apparently spelled her name wrong really badly. I called her Mathia instead of Mita. But it is what it is. It is a really good weapon for Mita or any tank in general that will come out in the future. I will be a decent uh, option until we get the legendary weapons that are probably better than this. Next up, we have the Wildering Longbow. It is a really good bow for those units that hit from really far distance, aka sniping people from the front or the back. Upon reaching it max, if the if you shoot an enemy and they are four tiles away from you, you will get a 25 uh, extra crit chance, I think, or I. It, it increases the crit by 25, which is really good uh, amount for an epic weapon. There is an also one extra thing. This is, we all know, the gazing orb. Upon dealing a single target damage or attack, it will increase the damage by 15%. It is really good for uh, Barrel because, you know, she has an attack that has armor piercing and deals a lot of damage. This will help increase it by a lot more and it will be really good for barrel and any other mage that deals a lot of extra single target damage. Here over the trinket part, the Q exist armor is really decent for, for now. It will provide 10% damage taken decrease when you are healthy which is when you are above 70% HP which is really good. Next up, we have this, which is the Mr. Uh, Nicholas. Before being actively attacked, it will inflict two random debuffs level 1 on the enemy. It is really good for, like, re it is really good because you can stack debuffs on the enemy. And if there is an, a unit that ha requires, like, debuffs on the enemy to deal extra damage or, like, proc this, this will help activate and this is really good on basically a lot of tanks for being an epic accessory which is it is a really nice one too because it inflicts two guaranteed it with no, there is no chances it will activate it does have a short cooldown too which is cooldown of two but ne this be real disaster bottle is probably the most like the most versatile out of all of the epic uh, trinkets it inflicts two random level 2 debuffs on the enemy, it's an active skill. And uh, I don't know why it doesn't show it here, but it can be used three times on the battle and it has the cooldown of two. Which is really high, like the three usages and two cooldown is really high for an epic equipment. And its stats are also not bad, provided of course it's level 60, but you get it, this is a really good free easy to get a uh, trinket that everyone can get and funny thing else is, is that it's on here 
It's also in here. And I believe it's also in here. Yeah, you can always get this. Which is really good from the weapon trials. From the second section, we have the chemical knife, which is of course a must have for most thief units. We all know that coal is probably like one of the best user users for this, as it's uh, you know 20% extra crit on pound max again, which is insane. It is a really good dagger. I am really surprised how this is even an epic dagger. I saw. Th like this number should have been a legendary weapon, but hey, an epic weapon, so we can have fun with this. Next up, although it is somewhat conditional, if the enemy has three debuffs or more, it will increase the physical attack by 3%. This is basically a weapon that really needs uh, the max stars. By 15% with three or more debuffs, we all know Disaster Bottle and Flex 2, you can bring any what any one more debuff if you can relatively easily and this will trigger 15 extra 15 physical attack increase which is really good next up we have the steel longbow it ignores 12% up to 25% depending on your sword of course it is straight up basic and simple it will increase or decrease the uh, target's defense by 25% this is really good on trying to uh, one shot enemies or getting like high damage on them relatively easily. It is re a really good weapon on Fakal too, which is a really nice uh, touch. It will be a uh, uh, there is probably better weapons than this, but it is a decent option. Viral second weapon <laughs> it increases AoE damage by 15%. I do not. I did not see Barrel's uh, entire kit, but she has Firewall, which is an AoE, and it's a good AoE, so it is a really good equipment on her. It depends on which style you're gonna pick Barrel to be for. Is it single target? Go for the Gazing Orb. If it's uh, AoE, put the Explosive Crystal, or any AoE uh, magic user in general. 15% increase, of course, really, really good. Okay, now this is a weapon trial free. We have over here. I, I think there isn't really that much good weapons. Yeah, all the, all the weapons are not really, really that great. This is uh, mid. This is you gotta hit from the highland for a 25% crit, and it's not really that common, and it's not really gonna be that. Yeah, easy to use anyways too. This is, this is actually decent. I forgot to put this in my note. But when you max this out, it will, when you attack the enemy, it will remove two buffs on that enemy. It has a cooldown of one, which I, th I think it's uh, when you attack, it will uh, refresh itself automatically. So it's probably because uh, it's cooldown of two here and changes to one. So you basically, get, when you attack an enemy, you remove two debuffs, uh, pro, two buffs from them, which is sounds really good. This RNG is not really that good, so I highly encourage you not to go for this weapon. This is it really depends. If you want your healer to increase their healing, this will be nice for them. Increases the health effect by 10%. It's not really that major. There is a, a weapon, uh, no, a whisper truth that increases by 15%. So I don't think it's really that important. This trinket, however, is really nice for a lot of the tanks. So when healed, it gains one random level two attribute buff, and it could be attack uh, two, critical, physical defense, etc. It lasts for two turns. That's every time you get healed. So it's really good on Mitha, who can hear herself with come on everybody's skill. And if you put any region on her, no, not region. I think uh, any healing will work. So even her own healing would trigger this. So will increase, like, give her a lot of buffs. Yes, it's removable, but it will keep her having a lot of buffs most of the time. This is niche but it's kinda good 
this is good for a character let's say uh, if you have coal and put this on her and if you are someone like who is reckless about with the game and you get punished this will automatically trigger for once and it will recover 45% health it only is one time use though but it is a decent uh, a tonic to use or trinket and of course these two I talked already about them and that's pretty much it the, these are the epic weapons that I re highly recommend that you try to max out that's if you max out um, your story progression and you are level locked like I am right now then you can just do this or do your voyage memento and progress in that if you have nothing else to do just do uh, do these missions uh, no do these stages and get uh, rewards for them at level 50 you do start getting uh, the le uh, rarely get the legendary weapons but I'm not gonna talk about them now since we are not really at that point where it's really worth talking about them at the moment we will I will talk about them once we get to higher and higher levels or closer to the level where we can actually get get these weapons either way I hope you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing if you enjoyed the content and hope I see you in the next one